Self-publishing tip of the day. Let me share with you one self-publishing tip. Let's talk about ISBN. ISBN, where do you get it? You get it from a website called myidentifiers.com. That is the official website to get your own ISBN. That's an ebook, paperback, hardback, and audiobook. Uh, it's, it's owned by a company called Bowker, I believe. But the we actual, it's called Bowker, but the actual website is called myidentifiers.com. Um, when I first got started with publishing, I used, I didn't buy my own ISBNs. And I'll tell you the pros and cons, okay? Yes, it costs, and how much does it cost on myidentifiers.com? It costs $100 approximately for one ISBN. If you buy a package of 10, it costs around $300. If you buy 100, I believe it costs around $600. And if you're a publisher um, uh, at a, that publishes a lot of books, then you may want to consider getting the package of 1,000 ISBNs, which I've got, which I've gotten twice, actually, for price is actually fifteen hundred dollars. It's actually the cheapest rate. Okay. Having said that, when I first got started, I used Amazon's free ISBN. I used Smashwords. Now it became Drafted Digital, their own free ISBN. But uh, because it was free, I didn't want to pay in the beginning, right? But I learned that over time in the long run, in the bigger scheme, you know, grand scheme of things, it's better to have your own ISBN. Because when you have your own ISBN, you can use that same ISBN for all different platforms, you know. Uh, especially when you want to go direct and sell direct. If you want to sell on Shopify, you know, and you want to work with a different platform, you can't use Amazon's free ISBN for other platforms. That's just for Amazon. You can't use Draft to Digital's free ISBN for other platforms. That's just for Draft to Di Digital. You know, a lot of the platforms like Amazon, Barnes and Noble, I believe, and all these platforms. I'm not sure about Barnes and Noble, but Draft to Digital, Amazon, even Ingram Spark, I believe, they provide a free ISBN if you want to use their free ISBN. But you're not going to be able to use that for other platforms. For example, if you want to go direct. On top of that, it's not going to be your company, your brand name on the record. It's going to be branding Amazon or other platforms out there, which might not be important to you. But if you want to do this for the long run, you want to show proof that you are the owner, right? You are the brand owner. You, you, are, you are the brand and your brand owns the ISBNs. It looks a, a lot more professional that way. And... Uh, and it's just like a lot easier to do things when you have your own ISBN. You can sell on different platforms using the same ISBN of your own. It's simple and you don't have to jump through hoops. Uh, am I able to use this ISBN for here or no? No, if it's your own, you can use it anywhere and everywhere. So when it comes to ISBNs, I highly recommend you get your own ISBN. Yes, it does cost money, but if you're serious about this, I really recommend get your own ISBN because that's the real way to do it. Does that make sense? So that's the way to do it. I gotta go. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you. Um, again, website is called myidentifiers.com. Okay? Myidentifiers.com. Go check it out. Thanks for watching. Click the link below the video to learn more about self-publishing for authors and publishers for all genres through my course, my done-for-you service and coaching, okay? Thanks for watching. I got to go. Talk soon. Take care. Bye.